everyone. My name is Ryan Talsma, Dynamics 365 Product Manager here at Interdyne BMI. And today I'm bringing to you an introduction to modifying forms in Dynamics 365. Now, this is meant to be an introductory presentation, meaning we're going to cover only the absolute basics. So as a disclaimer, this is not meant to take the place of full training, uh, especially those of you working within a live environment. We highly recommend getting help on building that foundation and receiving training on how to administer the system first and then learn these tools. But we do understand that there is a need for some of our customers that they want to take this on themselves, whether that's due to budgetary or just confidence and technical abilities. So that's the reason why I'm bringing this presentation today. It can also serve as a reminder for those of you who may have taken training a while back and are just now getting into modifying forms. So with that, let's go ahead and dive into our presentation. So today I'm going to be working within the account form, and as you can see on the screen here, we have Coho Winery, uh, an account in our system. Now, let's just say there's a couple brief changes that we want to make. For example, maybe we want to move the fax field down, move the website up over customer ID, and remove the ticker symbol, for example. We want to keep this system as simple as possible. So let's look, take a look at how we can make these changes. So the first thing that we're going to do is we can simply navigate to our settings module and click on customizations. So I'm going to settings, customizations, and then I'm clicking customize the system. Now this is going to pull up our configuration wizard. And this is something that you should get familiar with if you're going to be administering your system. Um, you know, this is where you can make all of your changes, whether that's the forms, fields, creating relationships, modifying views. So get to know this tool. So I'm going to pop this up. And this is going to bring up our configuration wizard within the system. So this is where we can customize really just about anything in the entire system. So again, the thing we're trying to configure is our account form. So I'm going to select our account entity. I'm going to expand it out and I'm going to click forms. And what this is going to do is it's going to load up my list of forms that I have in the system. Now the key thing to keep in mind here is we have a bunch of forms, right? So how do we know which one to choose? So the forms that were to, are always kind of the standard and the default are named after the entity itself. So you saw at the beginning, um, we were looking at the account form, so I'm simply gonna modify the account. Now once you become more advanced with forms, you'll start to understand what those other forms are used for, that you can have multiple forms and scroll through them. But today we're just keeping it simple. We're gonna work within the standard account form. So here we are within the standard account form and I wanna just point out a couple things here. So on the right is our bank of fields and you'll notice that even if you're brand new to the system, you have a bunch that are on the side, there's a lot of pre-built fields that have not been added to the form. So in a later video, I'll discuss how to create new ones. I'm not gonna get into that right now. Um, really today we're focusing on how do we modify this existing form. So I had a couple examples at the very beginning. So let's just say, you know, the first thing was I wanted to move up this website up below this customer ID so I can simply drag it and you'll see that red line there. You can see it on the screen right now. If I drop it, it's going to fall right where that red line was. Let's also say that I just wanted to remove a field altogether. I can simply select the field I want to get rid of and click remove. As a shortcut, I can also click the delete key and away it goes. Now, as another shortcut, and this is something that I always recommend people do, especially if you're moving this around a lot, it's much easier to select it and then you can click the up and down arrows and that will help you navigate this form and move those fields up and down, uh, left and right even very seamlessly and very easily. So we've talked about now how to move and remove fields, but how do we add them to the form? So very simply, we're gonna go to that field bank that I talked about before and I'm just gonna go ahead and grab, let's take the price list for example. Let's say we wanna specify what price list this customer needs to be included within. So very simply, you saw me just grab it from here and drag it onto the form. You can also select where you want it to go and then double click it as well and it would pop it right onto the form as well. So just a nice little shortcut. So in a nutshell, that's adding fields to the form. As mentioned, we're not going to go over creating new fields just yet. Uh, that'll be a future blog post and video, so look out for that one. But let's talk a little bit more about just kind of the overall navigation of this form. So we've been working primarily within the body here. So let's say we want to work within the header. 
to add fields to that, I'd have to click the header or the, there's a footer as well. But let's talk about the navigation a little bit. So I'm not gonna get too much into this, but the navigation pane is this one here on the left. And these are all of our related entities. So for example, if I wanted to see all related sales opportunities, that's here. So it's nice to keep this nice and clean. So let's say, for example, uh, my organization doesn't use entitlements at all. I just want to remove it. So I simply click the part of the navigation that I want to remove and I can click remove. Now, in the future, let's say I change my mind and I want to bring that back in, simply drag and drop right back to where it was. So the last thing I'm going to talk about is just some of the general commands within the command bar. And I'm not going to go too in depth in this. But you get a number of things such as uh, you can edit your form properties, so doing things like rename it, inserting different components, so new sections. So for example, this account information box here is a section, as well as tabs, such as the summary tab. You also can insert things such as charts and subgrids, which I'm not gonna go too in depth in today, but that's where you would be able to do those things. But the key thing here is the ability to save the form. So clicking save and then publish will then push it out to the live system. You can also, if you're nervous about making changes to your form and messing something up, you can click save as and then give this a different name. Um, let's call this account backup for example. Now we have a backup that you can always revert to that you know that in case you make some mistakes on the form and want to go back to where it was, you have that backup. So very similar to saving a copy of a Word document under a different name so you can keep that historical backup. You can do that here with forms. So with that, I'm gonna wrap up my introduction to modifying forms in Dynamics 365. If you wanna learn more about Dynamics 365 or how we can help, uh, don't hesitate to reach out to us in the information provided within the description. Additionally, I've included a blog post in the description that outlines what we discussed today. If you'd like to know more about Interdyne BMI, feel free to reach out to us via any of the communication methods on the slide right now. Uh, additionally, don't hesitate to follow us on Twitter or subscribe to us on YouTube to be kept up to date on the latest materials. Uh, thanks again for watching, and again, don't hesitate to reach out to us if you need anything. Have a great day.